<laughs> the Chris Crew. This is, I believe, this is a foundation, guys, for uh, online revival. Right before Jesus popped up in the scene, you guys are all just being built up and being supplied with the Spirit of God, getting filled with the Holy Ghost, getting healed. I am full right now. I was, I was so beat up yesterday. I thought I was having a heart attack three times, but I wasn't having a heart attack. I was having a God attack. No, I actually uh, just a little bit of warfare there. Leroy, what's up? Hello, Sarah. I got a, I got a little power, Sarah. I'm not going down tonight. <laughs> you haven't stopped receiving. Receive more in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I couldn't figure out what my music was. I had my headset on laying beside me and I could hear it. <laughs> I'm turning the music down. Tell me where it's good. If I get too loud, guys, tell me, Chris, stop preaching so loud. But don't tell me to stop preaching because that make me preach more. Okay, what we're looking at here without a mouse. So I'm kind of dangling my fingers in front of you guys all night here. It's amazing how much you get done with a mouse. <laughs> it's the whole revival crew. No, but I believe God's prepping us for something. If you guys can see it, I'm going to change the filter and see. I want to see if we can see with the x-ray mode what we see. But on both sides of the pink thing, or the thing in the middle, of, that's definitely a sun simulator. I've come to the conclusion after looking at the files I got. Hey, Blair, what's up? Heavenly Blair, you haven't stopped receiving. Let's get drunk in the Holy Ghost right now in Jesus' name. We get drunk in the Holy Ghost on this channel. We are not ashamed of getting drunk in the Holy Ghost. Because God is real to us. Jesus is here. His presence is here. Huh, Sarah? His presence is here, Doug. I mean, Doug was crying, I think. <laughs> this is a channel where you uh, either meet Jesus or you come and get filled up so you can go do the work of Jesus. Or you just come in and get drunk in the Holy Ghost so you just feel better all around because the vibrations out there and all this stuff going on, you can feel it. No, this ain't, man. You can see the planes fly in front of it. It's not a lens flare at all. Um, I've done like four videos on it. I did like four videos on it and filtered every one of them. You can see the planets. But right now, it's hard to see it on this, but there's... The shadow on left and right side, Let's see if I can, it's hard to pick it up, but the shadow on the right and left side and the bottom there, um, when I did the forensic thing on them last week, you could absolutely see the planets, but you gotta, you know, they're dark planets, but they're on the dark side too right now. Now watch this, watch this craft, this plane fly above, it's flying right into this thing. You know, the only thing that uh, a couple of us could figure out last time was that these, this camera must have some kind of infrared lens that we don't, you know, it wouldn't tell you that on the thing. It might be a high dollar camera they're using. This is Massachusetts. On the front of it, it says New Jersey. But um, you can see the planes fly right in front of this thing. Um, I got some pictures from that file, Sarah. I got pictures from that file with this thing right here showing that it's part of the sun sim. So now we know what this red thing here, this pink thing is. So this is what it looks like without a filter. You see, it's kind of more pinkish than red. But now, I don't know if you guys could pick it up because there's a lot of haze on this screen. Not because of the light, but because of the fog in the area. But on the right and left, you see the orbs. Now what I'm gonna do, I took about 45 minutes of this footage when it was coming up, and um, I'm gonna filter it and put it together as a video. So you, everybody will see what it really is with the filters I use. Insane. So you know people, um, you know some people are getting offended I'm doing this, and some people are getting filled with the Holy Spirit. Either way, you know, I don't mean to offend nobody. It's just the gospel. You know, guys, so if someone gets offended at someone, you know, it's going to happen. They're people are people, right? 
People get offended, even family. But anyways, if you guys can see where I'm pointing right here, this light shadow, because we did so much of this last week, I know exactly these are going to come out in the filter. And then there's one right here, guys, that's kind of reddish that I could see. But see now, though, you know, you would think, okay, those are just lens flares that are around it. That's what I thought last week until I filtered it all, and you can see the surface of them. <laughs> Truth finders. Well, you know, it takes a lot of boldness to step out and say, I believe this is what's happening here. A lot of people don't even want to say the word uh, Planet X, but they're actually up there looking for Planet X, but they're not like saying Planet X, right? <laughs> hey, you know why I have no fear? The Lord told me to go find it, show the people, and tell them that he loves them. And that's what I've been doing. So when he tells me go to Halls, Massachusetts, then I know those planets are for reals because when I filter them last time, it blew my mind. Matter of fact, the cover page is on them. If you scroll through my playlist, you'll see the, you'll see this, you'll see the pink thing, and then you'll see the planet on the left. It was down towards the surface, the horizon. Thanks, Scott. You know, it's just that I'm going to be real. The Lord told me, don't try to be anybody else. Don't try to be a preacher. Don't bring doctrine. He said, it's not a debate about doctrine or anything. It's a, it's a, it's just telling people that I love them, and you show them the planets I show you. Um, now I'm I'm. Like this pink thing, these planets are pretty amazing. It's the dark side, you can barely see them, and there's one right there that's red, it's going back down. But that's my question, is why don't these people see this? There's got to be infrared in the camera that's picking up the dark side of these two planets. Sorry about my fingers tonight, but, you know. That's the way it goes on see for all channel, the most professional, unprofessional channel you've ever seen. Now, first time we did this, guys, we got two UFOs that came out right about here on the side, and they jetted off like, did a 360 and jetted off, and it wasn't a jet. <laughs> well, you know, all the channels have their part, guys, so keep that in mind, you know, and if you're a Christian, don't compare yourself to each other. It's not wise. It says it's foolish, because the part I'm bringing... I don't think I could do it without the Holy Spirit because I, I never made a movie two years ago before I started doing this. I never even made a but one house movie, you know, one home movie. Hey, Aggie. So, you know, in everything I've learned about filming and recording and time lapse, I've done it all in two year period. I never filmed anything. I took pictures like everybody at the zoo, you know, but that's about the level I was at. So um, right now, the more real stuff I put up, the more it's like I got gremlins in my computer. You know, I just keep rebuking it, taking authority over it. And I said, I'm not quitting, God. I'm just going to keep going until the computer fries. I don't care. Hey, Melissa from Portland, Oregon. Welcome, welcome. So remember, Monday nights, if I find something live, it's going to be Monday Night Revival, even though it seems like every video now is Monday Night Revival. <laughs> But last Monday, oh, the Spirit of God fell. Last night, two nights ago, the Spirit of God fell. And then me and Sarah both had a war on, on yesterday. My wife had a war. My dog had a war, too. Yes. I will pour out my spirit, and I will work wonders in the heavens and on earth, blood and fire and columns of smoke. Um... Was the, Billy, the address for the site... Columbus, Ohio. Ohio's got good skies to hunt for planets in. You just got to look through all those clouds. Witness where? Thank you. Witness where is a way of me giving you guys a tool that you could put it in your house. You could wear it on your clothes. You could put it on your phone. Somewhere there's going to be Jesus on it. Um, and there'll become some cool pictures. My wife's got a whole line of... Um, of paint by number pictures that she has on her phone that are animated and I'm gonna be doing those on the phones anyways any guys go in and buy anything it's a blessing to my ministry um, I'll make a little bit of commission off of it and it will really be a blessing so I had like a thousand people go in the first day no sales but a thousand people at least went in checked it out so you know Sarah it's like I got that Jesus all that Jesus stuff on the bottom we got Jesus on the top. We got Jesus in the video. We got Jesus in the people. 
We got Jesus everywhere on this channel. It's like we got a fortress of Jesus around us. The fire of God is around this, this channel, guys. And so I, I looked at that with all that witness where on the bottom, um, there's going to be a bigger row of those Jesus things, too. Um, if you just go down to the, like, when you go down to the description area down there, scroll down, you'll see a, a link with three or four items on it. Just click on one of those. It'll take you right to the, the site. I don't, I don't even know the address. I, I resurrected that thing, I think, Tuesday morning at 4 o'clock. And I put 45 products on it this morning. A little bit of a learning curve. Not too bad. Yeah, you know what Jeff P said? I can't believe you don't have any trolls, brother. I said, well, the power of God keeps them out. But if they come in, I don't want to throw them out, guys. I mean, if they're cursing everybody out, F this, F this, and you ho and all that, yeah, you know, just give them no voice. Gag them. Um, but if someone don't agree with your doctrine, don't gag them because they don't believe the way you believe. No, no, it's not about division because of, of doctrine. No, 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 no. It's about the essentials, the blood of Jesus. We have in the same spirit, right? When we have faith, we speak. We come in agreement. So we could believe the doctrine a little bit different. Speaking in tongues, no speaking in tongues. Healings for today, healings for tomorrow. Get over that. That's just doctrines. That's dogmic. Dogmat. What do they call it? Dog, dogmat. Whatever. It's just doctrines. It's teachings. And everybody has their own slant. But let's go to the basics. The blood of Jesus. He came in the flesh. He died for me. If there was nobody else, he died for me. And he healed me, Isaiah 53. But, you know, by his stripes, I was healed. I believe in all that. I believe in the full gospel, not partial. And so don't let none of that divide you guys. Let's ride this thing out. Let's bless one another. Let's pray. We all know the basics. I mean, even if our prayers, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Or my prayers are like, I pray over my food like this. Oh, God, do, it to, do what you do to this meat so I can eat in Jesus' name. Sanctify it. That's how I pray over my food. <laughs> So however you pray, pray for one another. Don't let the doctrine separate you and forgive if you get offended or get someone offended. Ask them for forgiveness, you know. And we're going to ride this thing out on the front seat, guys, because, I, you know, that's what I'm doing now, 24-7. I thought I was retiring, but I was just refiring. There is no retiring for the righteous. It's only refiring for the righteous. <laughs> oh, you know, uh, Rap the News has got all kinds of debunker people tearing him apart we need to pray for raptor news no matter how rough he is even if they come preaching jesus with contention he says leave him alone they're lifting up the name of jesus <laughs> i like god's way of doing things pray for their you know pray for him but i watched a video and a guy was tearing him apart and what it was was raptor news showing his video saying like now this brother's wrong he should have just came to me and, and raptor news is right no, I don't agree with all Raptor News' doctrines, but I love Raptor News. Well, I don't even know his name. I still love his boldness. And he's dealing with hardcore junkies like in, in Chicago or New York somewhere. Yes. And they who fear the Lord spoke of one another, and the Lord listened attentively. And a record book was written before him, and those who fear the Lord trust in his name. I had to read that fast. No, I'm not ignoring anybody. I just, I'm trying to read that fast chat. What'd you say? <laughs> I'm sorry if I ignored somebody. <coughs> no, I'm not. Maybe my chat, my chat might be lagging. No, I get preaching, guys. I kind of go blind. I'm looking at the planet, and I don't mean to do that. What is this music? Thank you, Sarah. You figured out how to put the address on, Sarah? Because I haven't figured that out yet. Well, I don't have a mouse, so I can't do it. I'm, I'm like limping tonight with, with no mouse. This music, gotta go. I kind of like it, but it's gotta go. It'll get me talking more, not talk enough. See ya? Wow, I missed a whole bunch of chat. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know if it's the way I got this set up, but I was about eight chats behind. Hi, Laura. Is this like Laura, the one I know? Local Laura? 
Lalas Venturas. See, some of my friends are secretly watching me, but they still think I'm kind of crazy. But you know something? <laughs> the proof is in the pudding. Hey, last night, Sarah, when the Holy Spirit fell, I started crying. I was laughing and crying at the same time. Dad, I won't put it up. <laughs> yeah, some of you guys have been here since I, I started doing this with my really terrible videos. I cover everything up with words. <laughs> it's kind of a strange, funky sound, ain't it? See, now down here, before, when you guys were on the video, you can see it right now. But right here, there's an orb coming up. These up here, you can't see them, but they are there. Um, so when I filter it, I'll, I'll make a good video. Yeah, I'll put a package together for you, Red. I didn't forget you, I just keep forgetting. But not you, I didn't forget you. Both black and white. You can see a little bit of the planets on both sides. <laughs> That's okay. You hear my music, I do. What I had to do, because I lost all my music a few days ago. My computer's been hit so hard in the last five days. It's been exhausting trying to keep it running. The videos are easy to make and enjoyable, but the, the computer is just a, it's a monster. Look at this thing right here, guys. Something's going on right there. Let's see if I can catch that. That's some kind of something. I'm not going to say what I think it is, but I think it's something flying by. See that, guys? It's not just a cloud. It's kind of creepy looking. Let's go to red. So you really never know what's going to happen to my channel. I mean, uh, you can get three witches and a devil. I think some of them prayed against me and Sarah, but we broke through. We broke through to the other side and got some, got the refilled, refired, right, right, Sarah? Sarah, Sarah's been, uh, hanging, being a moderator. Garrison was a bouncer last night, but I think he bounced too many people. But, um, he didn't, he didn't bounce too many people. He bounced one guy and the guy kept giving him a hard time. But it's all good, folks. You know, Garrison did a great job. Garrison was prophesying too. The Spirit of God was hitting him hard. I mean, I think he got a little drunk in the Holy Ghost. Yes, amen. Very sovereign. Ha <laughs> Grizzly, hi. Holy Ghost refill right now in Jesus' name. I release it. <laughs> no, but if you could watch last uh, yesterday's, was it two days ago, streaming live video, and then I lost power. I shut down after about an hour, but that meeting, that one, there was a video after that. It was the whole full two and a half hour video I put up, or two hour and 15 minutes. The Holy Spirit fell on that video strong. <laughs> That's a good sign. It's called peace like a river. <laughs> I know, I used to, you guys remember when, before they had Facebook and all that, back in 99, 98, 97, they had a thing called IRC chat. I don't know if they still have it. ICQ. ICQ chat, yeah. I had a, a place called the Secret Room Worship. We had everything from Baptist to full gospel. We had everything in there. And literally, the room was so anointed that you just, I told everybody, put your own music on and then type out what you're worshiping. And people got healed. One time the room split up and it turned into two rooms with like 600 people in each room. And they're like, and I was in two rooms at the same time. They're telling me, how could you be in two rooms at the same time? It was so supernatural. It was scary. But anyways, I ended up with like 300 people on that chat. And this, this thing is like even better because you got the planets you can search for. You got UFOs like, right? That's a sun simulator, folks. I'm telling you right now. I did my research. That's sun simulator right there. I wish it would come in clearer. Anyways. It's 
See, now, the way the Lord explained to me, guys, that um, when he said, go find Wormwood, I had a vision, and what I had was Wormwood go by my right shoulder. Like, up, you know, far away, but it was scary. And he told me, be not afraid. And when he said, go find, he woke me up June, or May 29th, 2017. And I had this vision four times. I never understood it completely, because I didn't know what Planet X was yet. He says, go find Wormwood. And he said, you can call it Planet X, Nemesis, Nibiru. I didn't know any of those words. I went online and found, I think, WSO and Jeff P. site first thing. But anyways, and so I did that. And um, what he told me was that he, he looks at Wormwood as the whole system that he made. Jesus built this. He made these planets for his pleasure, for his for his wrath. And what we're gonna get, I'm starting to see those orbs really come out good, guys. What we're gonna get is the wrath of the lamb, the first stage. And people don't believe the wrath of the lamb's coming, but got, they gotta read the book of Revelation because you're blessed when you read it. And it opens your understanding. Look at the one on the bottom with that red, you can see it. These are coming out a little bit clearer now. Anyways. I figured I'll go about, I don't know. I hate turning it off once it's going. Yeah, Nemesis is a dark dwarf planet or a star. Sun Simulant is totally there. Um, I got footage I'll put out probably tomorrow that um, I probably think Jeff Peace put a lot of it out already, but it's got some shots I've never seen. And then I'll show you a bunch of some simulator shots that he sent me that are just intense. I mean, the video I just did was pretty, pretty good. And the one I'm building right now, I got another one I'm building. That one's got a lot of amazing shots. So I'm doing like eight or nine photos and I'm bringing them to the filters live, like while you guys watch me. And you get more for your money that way. You get like multiple filters. And it's just a whole lot better. Yeah, it's a deep rabbit hole, all right. Well, according to those pictures, they're pretty old. So it's, you know, they're like two, three years old. So that means this planet stuff has been around for at least 10 years, I think. Eight years. I'm wondering if it's just locked in our whole solar system and it just keeps going around in circles. And we just don't know it. Jingo, Jingo, how you doing? Bruno, how's up? Man, my, my, my chat must be slow. Because I don't see none of those people coming in. Yeah, this pink thing with the sun, Sam. I think those are two shields. They're not reflections. I think they're two huge mega structure shields in case they need to turn them on because what if this stuff started just arcing out like crazy and start throwing flares and and um plasma bursts to the earth we'd have a live right here right so tomorrow maybe tomorrow night or even as much as like two days from now you'll see this video because I, I recorded i'm recording it right now in real time while I'm doing this, so I got the time lapse on it and it's going to be filtered and clear. So, right now, I got about two and a half hours time lapse on this. And they came in, they were like down here when I first came in. One here, there was actually one here, and then this one came up, and then this pink one came up when I did the last video with you guys. There's a nice little pink one there, it's incredible looking. If those people who know this stuff for 15, 20 years could see everything like I do. My eyes have been trained on this stuff now. It's insane looking. Yeah, my, my chat, I guess, because I'm recording this is really slow, guys. Sorry. Yeah, it's a thing system. Um, the more I get to know about the Sun Sim, on this one, the actual real picture of it, if you go to the actual website, guys, um, you can see the rings on the, um, like, the vents. Like, you got that circle in the middle, and then, like, levels of, like, um, like, like, tiers. 
So I know it goes in, and then I know all that disperses the the, the, the center of it, and it all disperses light out. But this is like a turned off sun sim just parked in the sky, orbiting. I guess it's orbiting a low orbit, right? It's the same looking. <laughs> See, so I want to show you guys, if you remember the Chuckamus Chuk video I put out like a month ago or so, it had three sun simulators and like five planets, but you can only make out the red small planet. That was a pretty intense video. You think this big thing is his nemesis, huh? I don't know. Um, I don't see the tail. I see people put up stuff that looks like meteors. Hey, Hobson, what's up? If I don't know you guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. Ring the bell. More to come. Yes, I can't do too many live ones like this because I'm, I'm eating up all my bandwidth. I got a couple days to go before I get new bandwidth. <laughs> hey Hobson, your your UFOs are gonna come in loud and clear. Wait till you see what I found in them. I could pull up on them pretty close. They look pretty real, pretty awesome looking. Yeah, Hobson sent me like two two pictures of like 12, 15 UFOs going through the air, and pretty close, you know. So that will be up soon. I'm catching so much live stuff, guys, it's hard to get to my email stuff. I downloaded like two weeks of email stuff, and it's in a folder. <sighs> it's just like, what do I do? What do I do? So I just get led by the Lord, and I just go. Like, I didn't plan this right here. I seen this and said, I got to show the people. You know, it's getting bigger. It's getting closer. Look how big it's getting, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, so like... um the guy that sent me the two folders is over 600 pictures, and he said they took them down over the years. Um, a couple people lost their jobs. A couple people got talked to by the government. But as soon as I put up the two videos on those secret files, and you'll see it says, like, bin number 111, bin number 1111. Well, see those videos, that's all that in files, and I can't even debunk any of it. I'm trying to, but it, it's, it's all real stuff, you know? Hey, David. Hey, Adam. Hey, Adam, were you in that show yesterday, the other day? Or yesterday? It was the other day, two days ago. I think you were, man. The Holy Spirit fell. You see, um, Garrison, man, he started prophesying. It was great. I loved it. Power of God was moving. Sarah goes, the Spirit of the Lord just hit me. It was rejected. Um... It's in the wrong format. Just you have some way to take it and change the format, change it into an MP4. It might be in a weird format of a movie maker that it doesn't have. Like YouTube don't have everything. Because like if I use my uh, Camstria, it's a dot record uh, format. It's like a private format. So eBay, I mean uh, YouTube, don't let me upload it. And when I upload it from the movie maker, it changes the format for the MP4 for YouTube. I tell you, learning YouTube is a mind bender. Woo. Yeah, it, can you hear me, Laura? It's the it's the format. Go get a go get a, a movie format changer converter. They're free all over the place, and convert it to an MP4, and then try it. Because I have people taking shots on their little movies on their um, Apple equipment, and I can't make it out of it unless I put it in a different filter and change the format, or a different editor, and I change the format, and then I send it back over there. So some of my stuff I got to go back and forth like three or four times. That's why some of the longer videos take a long time to build. 
Because you'll take it, you'll film it, and then you'll process it. And if it's time lapse, it might take like two hours for just that. And then you send it to the editor, editor that's another two hours. And then you download it again and put it back in the movie maker, and that's another two and a half hours. I'm serious. <laughs> but I'm crazy. I multitask. I'll be doing that like times five. I just burn this computer up. It's run by the Holy Ghost, this computer, Douglas. Douglas knows this computer is Holy Ghost filled. It's sovereign. Touch of God on this computer going for two years like this. <laughs> yeah. Wow, you, my my chat is not even going. I don't. <laughs> I don't know what my chat is. <laughs> oh, I like that music for this. <laughs> my age is fifty-eight. I didn't even know my my chat. I gotta do something to my chat. My chat's so slow. Oh well, I'll catch up. I'm on an old conversation like twenty minutes ago still. <laughs> hey, Fats from Ireland, what's up? I like my Ireland friends. Anybody tells me their country, I make sure I send the videos out to your country in your language. I need narrators. I mean, I need um, I need translators for different countries, guys. So I, I'm in 160 countries. If anybody knows how to change, do the um, closed caption narrating stuff on those different languages, hey, have at it. It's all open to do it. Okay, you guys are starting to see that now? Are you starting to see that little outline? The ones that are just waking up to this stuff, it's hard to see because they don't know what we're really looking for. It's a giant, there's two giant planets right there. And then right here is a reddish purple. It's got a reddish purple hint. I like this music. That's kind of fuzzy sounding. Hey, Mark, can you hit that door for me? Just pull it. It's just a light on this. Thank you, guys. They're in there. Hey, Don, I'll have coffee. <laughs> Please, honey, I need coffee. They're not responding to me. I took the living room over. Yeah. You see those clouds go by before? Now, hopefully we see some orbs go around this pink thing. See, these are coming out more and more, guys, these two planets right here. And this one's getting brighter to the laptop. Let's scroll around. Let's find you a different filter. There you go. I'll put some gamma on it. This is our homemade gamma. We get a good shot on the sun sound, don't we? Oops, sorry. Let's look for UFOs for a minute. Oh, it's because, uh, Daniel, that's because my, my chat's going slow. I don't know if I got the wrong setting on it or whatever. But don't get offended, guys, but I'll see you. Chat's moving. Sarah, Sarah is like my second set of eyeballs. <laughs> yeah, like I do keep away from it too. Now I got a book talking about about the Lord, about the stars. I like that one. It goes back to Abraham. So hey everybody, if I don't see you, it's because my 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 um my chat is like ten seconds or fifteen seconds difference, and it's backing me up. I don't know. Maybe I could change it over here. I'm going to try to share this while I'm doing this with you guys. They don't let you share it on Facebook when you're live. Now I know, Lilas, Ventura, you're Laura, Ventura.
This is the Troll Free Zone. This is Citizen Z talking to you guys live from the Antarctica Mountains. That's been dark. Thank you, man. Hey, I'm just going to bring it uh, as live as I can, as real as I can, as much as I can, right to the end. Those of you who know their God will be doing great exploits in the days to come like we're not going to know. We're not going to comprehend it. It's going to be so powerful. Days of darkness coming upon the earth is going to happen. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? So I don't know how good you guys see it out there because I'm looking on a little cell phone. I see it on my laptop, but it just looks really foggy and kind of almost, you can almost see it. So the filters do help a little bit. I'm making my chat move. <laughs> Yeah, well, if someone comes in with a different language, I leave it because the the um, the filter I have on here will pick it up. And so I have a filter on here with certain words in it, and it won't. It will just block them, and then it will show Sarah or me, you know. And what I'm doing is trying to let Sarah or Garrison, if he's in the room, make a decision. Garrison knows a lot of the trolls. He knows they're out there, and um, I'm gonna have to just trust the Lord with Garrison and. You know, that he's, he's been in a lot of rooms, so he knows kind of how people are and who's who. And I'm not really wanting to smoke every person that has a different doctrine, though, personally. But if you come in, like, you know, um, do like a virtual bomb, like jihad bomb, you know, shut his mouth up. Send him away. Don't even give him times out. Gag him. You know, I don't want no jihadists coming here and saying all kinds of stuff in Arabic, like threatening us, you know. <laughs> You have my permission to ask that one. Uh, but, no, ultimately, we want to get them saved, guys. We don't want to chase everybody away because they believe different. And I don't know enough Italian, Greek, German, any of the places I, I go to. I do a lot of Asian, Indonesia. Okay, Hobson. I know you're finding good stuff out there, Hobson. You're a hunter. Ten years in Italy. Hey, was it, you drinking coffee? Huh? Are you drinking coffee? I can't hear you. Are you drinking coffee? I drank coffee. Can you get me some water? Can you get me some water? Water? Yeah, more coffee. But there's no more coffee, is there? I don't need coffee. Oh, I like this doodock music. Oh, well, I did like it. I lost it now. Forty-one to forty-one. I think you guys are trained. Thumbs up. So like I say, my channel is about signs in the sky, signs in the sun, signs in the stars, signs in the moons. Any kind of sign I see, I don't care if it's Planet X, if it's Nibiru, if it's a UFO, if it's an upside down flying saucer, I don't care. Or it could be a helicopter crashing, I don't care. I'll show it to you. <coughs> did you guys see the picture on that one video I did with the big blue moon thing in the middle of the night? It was in... um. I think it was in Washington somewhere. It was over a college, it was like a college. I did not know what that was. It was kind of a giant blue chain looking star. It wasn't the moon. Amen, amen, yes. I come in agreement right now. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up in judgment, I condemn in the name of Jesus. I command those words to fall to the ground. No witchcraft will stick. The curse don't come without a cause. And there is no cause. Well, I don't think the enemy likes me too much, but what could I say? I don't like him a lot. <laughs> I laugh at him. I 
Um, well, they're coming at us, so I don't know. They're going to flip us. I mean, you know something, guys? God could hold this thing. It could be a gentle flip, and we never really feel the harshness of it. Or it could be full-on rock and roll, like Revelation 8 says, you know? Look at that. It just grew and went back, right? You see that? That was not... That's me focusing right there. I'm focusing right there. Unless it was a camera focusing. We're running and hiding from the wrath of the lamb. Hi, caters. Hey, I don't know where they're going to hide down there with Obama in the tunnels or what, or maybe with Ming Jing or whatever, in the Chinese tunnels or with uh, the Russian, <laughs> the Russian guy. <laughs> That's Revelation, Chris. I love it. Revelation 8, man. Rock and roll like a drunken sailor. Earth's going to shake and wobble. So there's going to be 100 pound meteors. I mean, you go to wrap the news, it's kind of harsh, but it kind of gives you a reality check, like you read. Hey, Troll Slayer, did you see your video? What's up? Did you see your one picture you sent me with the three planets in it? <laughs> I don't. It's like 15 or 20 videos back now. <laughs> or as they say in the 21st century, fracking chemtrail. <laughs> Euphemism. <laughs> that was the closest I ever came to a curse on my channel. I can't wait to that trumpet. See that? I can't wait to that trumpet blows. That's what this music sounds like—a trumpet. A little weird. Not yet. I still got another million people to round up. Don't go yet. Don't don't take us yet, Lord. Let me get to the million. Uh, the link. Anybody got the link? It's the same one. You got to go to Halls, Massachusetts. But it's going to say New Jersey on the front page. This is Nantasket Beach. You got Nibiru hangover then, huh? Nibiru flu. Was that a chemtrail flu? <laughs> I went and downloaded like 100 songs from YouTube's free library. I listened to the beginning of them. They sounded good. I took them. This is perfect music for this kind of video. Okay, Red. Little Red for Red. There you go, Red. Iman's in the house, Emmanuel. <laughs> There's going to be a regime change soon. It's called the Kingdom of God, and the King is coming to take his throne on earth. Oh, we're going to go up for supper. That's all that is, guys. We're coming right back for a thousand years of ruling rain. Can't wait till the judgment seat happens. Can't wait to be standing in line. You know what God's going to say to you? He's going to say, Red, did you love? And Sarah, did you love? Did you love people? That's the first thing to ask us. Believers, did you love people? Did you help people? Yep. Red helped me a lot one day. He sent me money. I was telling my daughter-in-law about how God will send you 50 bucks if he has to send it from a stranger in the mail. She goes out to the mail and gets the mail. And it was Red's envelope and it had 50 bucks cash in it. And it blew my mind. I didn't care if my, my daughter-in-law, she believed it. She was like, wow. I didn't care if she believed I was blown away. And that was right on time, Red. That was a God thing. I mean, just for that demonstration, I should send you 50 bucks back if I had it. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, but I also had a friend that did the colloidal silver. He started turning blue. He made his own too, and he started turning blue. He took so much of it. But I think it uh it helps a lot. That colloidal silver. Yeah. Yeah, Red, that money came in like right there. Another time too, I was like really broke and I got out of my car, I was taking my dog to the park. I stepped out of my car and I said to God, all right, Father, you told me to come down here and pray. I need 50 bucks for my phone. I started walking my dog and a $50 bill blew across the football field where I was at. I picked it up and fell on the ground, got filled with the Holy Ghost. So it was a $50 bill for Pentecost, 50 cost. <laughs> Somebody fill in Patty. Okay, we're looking at a sun simulator that's parked in the sky with um, maybe two other shields behind it. And on the right and left, if you can barely make out those orbs, they're actually planets. The bottom one you can't make out because of the fog. Um, and they're not light lens reflections because we did this last week when we actually pulled out one planet. But this, I think I'm going to pull out three planets. It's going to be amazing what I find on this. But, so that was interesting. So, you know, God's amazing.
Back to my lens flare video. Yeah, Planet X has been saying that about my video since I started. In the beginning, I had a lot of lens flares, but uh, not now. Hello, Jeff. What's up? I'm back. Yeah. Hey, that's what I'm saying, Shaylin. How am I getting this? Because it's a turned off. I think there's infrared in this camera, guys. Honestly, I think. It has to be because I've never seen any camera, but maybe one in Switzerland that's this good that picks up infrared. But um, there's also, if you can see it, there's like two orbs to the left and the right. Can you guys see? I'll bring them in brighter. The plant, uh, Sun Sun is pink. There's a TRB, that little white spot, and then I think the two behind it, the, the hexagon one and the round one are sun shields. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jeff Davis, what's up? I'm relaxed. 
Finally, Jeff made it, guys. He finally made it here. You know, I'm going to be sitting across the table, and you guys want to, well, you'll go, hey, that's Steve Fernald over there. Let's go say hi to him. <laughs> the three in the black, yeah. I'll give you a, let's do a x-ray. So I don't know if they're lens flares, they're the best freaking lens flare on the internet. <laughs> I don't, you know, something, it's, it's what it is, guys. You know, you just try to be honest, and that's for real. That's x-ray mode. That is for reals. The reason I came on tonight with this, while well, I was doing the video live chat, and I was filming this at the same time, and I'm actually still filming it right now. I've been filming it for maybe three and a half, four hours. But on the film, I'll see UFOs I can't see with my naked eye. Because of the filters, they'll bring them out. They'll take all the haze and everything away. I like this one. An infrared shot. I want to see, see the UFOs, actually. We know the planets are there. Yeah. Well, you know, I had uh, one guy... He's in Russia area. That's all I'm going to tell you. He's kind of Russian sounding or Czech or something. And he came to my site and he does a lot of videos. He asks for a lot of money all the time. And he just starts bashing me because I had some kind of like OCG in the sky, or obstacle cluster group. I mean, just spread across the whole sky. And he's like, come on, Chris. You know, that's all. You're lying to the people. You're lying to the people. So I went to one of his shows and he spent 20 minutes talking about trolls. 20 minutes. And so I said to him, hey, brother, you know, I mean, you're all upset about your trolls, but you you came to my site and just had a good old time trolling my site, right? So I said, maybe if you stop sowing trolls, you stop being a troll, you'll stop getting trolls. I don't get that many trolls. And the trolls I get, I get them saved. I call I call Jesus down on them. I call the breath, breath of God into my channel, and God responds, and a lot of times you guys feel it. Yeah. So a lot of that, you know what it is, is it's like if you had a merchandising site. I used to work eBay a lot and you get people that are vicious that are selling stuff, that are selling the same product, they threaten your life and everything. So I found out about Nibiru. Like I said, you can't answer all the comments, but you could at least, you know, I'm trying to do live stuff now just to really hang out with you guys, pray for you guys and let you know, don't be afraid. Jesus is in control. And then bring salvation if I need to. Yeah, forgive them for... Well, see, and then how many channels have you been to is to talk about Planet X, but they'll say Planet, but they won't say Planet X and Nibiru because they don't know. <laughs> they, don't, they don't know. <laughs> see, this camera's focusing like crazy nowadays. Usually I could lock in. If I could lock in on something, let me see if I could put my little screen up here. Excuse my hands. My mouse broke 15 minutes before the show. Okay, I'm going to put my little screen up here so you guys can see my email. Sometimes I put that little screen there and the camera focuses better. It stays focused. So here's my email. But it will focus in on that page and I think it will stop bouncing back and forth. There you go, that's better. Yeah, it's like preachers, real preachers don't make money because they're not business savvy like the real, the, the uh, snake oil guys. Which one? The ones behind it, Shaylin? Or the, which one are you looking at? Or oh, the bottom one? Yeah, fish is bad to eat nowadays. It's full of garbage. You know what also what happens too, guys? I notice that if I do that, I put this little thing up here. I put it right right where that purple planet was. I'm gonna move it over. I just want it somewhere in the in the vicinity so it focuses on that. Now this is like prehistoric way of doing this, but you know something? It's a real capture, real time. Ain't no they no playing around. Yeah, the bottom one. It's starting to come up. See how clear the bottom one's getting? It's kind of pinkish, purplish, a little reddish. Let's see if we can x-ray it. 
Let's see what we got on the x-ray. I don't like that music at all. We're after the lamb's coming, folks, if we like it or not. If we believe in it or not, we like it or not, it's all going to happen. It's just a matter of when. You know, all these, all these prophecies are coming to pass nowadays. Wow, look at that thing on the bottom now. Let me get this thing out of the way. I gotta leave that down there so it won't focus so much. Man, <laughs> none of us could hide from God. I mean, I woke up this morning, it's like my bad day yesterday was so bad that the day I woke up, I forgot I had it. Lord was like, get to work. It was 3.30 in the morning I woke up. Lord said, get to work. I thought it was 6.30. It was 3.30 in the morning, I was wide awake. Lord said, get to work. So I got on there and I made two videos before 12 or 1. I put up two, this is the third one, maybe four, but three videos today. Yeah, Jesus is coming back soon, people. He's allowing us to see that orb right there even. These are still there. When I filter this, I'm putting it up tomorrow if I can get it out. What's Dave Dobbs saying? I haven't been able to watch him. What is he saying about the position and where we're at and everything? So like, I think a lot of stuff I'm capturing is UFOs and like the sun simulators, all deception. But there's still signs in the sky, even though they might be demonic. It's all part of the last day skies. I know, I, the Lord won't let me report on disasters. He let me show a couple uh, beaches that were not doing right. You know, the tide went out, but he won't let me show a lot of catastrophic stuff. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I think, personally, I think that uh, Samuel Hoffman was abducted by really good angels. And I think he was downloaded some information. I had a hard time when I first listened to Samuel Hoffman because I didn't believe in UFOs or flying saucers, but I've been showing them now because I believe in them. Yeah, the Brexit's all messed up, ain't it? So, um, I try not to get into too much political stuff on my channel because I want it to be focused on Jesus. Um, like I say, the planets are just a means. It's like, it's like top water bait. You get the best fish with top water bait, you know? You get the real big bass. So I'm out here trolling for souls. I like Dave Dobbs. He reminds me of like the 70s or something. <laughs> he reminds me of that. Like from England. I don't want to run. I want to sit right here until it comes. <laughs> I'm in Central California. No, actually there's a prophecy over the town I'm in that, um, that God was going to when we seen the skies change color and the chemtrails, I put the prophecy up like half a year ago. I might reissue that too. That um, the refuge from all this is going to be in him. So, but he said in this town will be a place of refuge. And I'm in a refuge, I'm in a refuge city too. Um, we have like artesian water underneath us. They say that if the earthquake came, it would least affect this area because of the way the rocks are situated or the, the land situated underneath. Yeah, they're fallen angels. There's no such thing as aliens. Well, there's a couple aliens that come over the border, you know, but that's about it. Um, yeah, they're fallen angels. Or you can call them Anunnaki, that's fallen angels. The Rephamim, that's the fallen angels' kids, the giants. The giants were real, more real than I want to realize in the last year. Yeah. Hey, if there's no food, I'm not going to a FEMA camp. I'll eat bark off a tree. God, don't make me eat bark off a tree, but I'm not going to a FEMA camp. Sorry. Not after Katrina. I've seen all those people getting raped and hurt. No way. That's a, that's a recipe for a disaster for the FEMA camp. Yeah, you know that, uh, what's his name? Baker has these little shake-em-up water filters. 
I think I'm gonna buy three of them. Water, you can get food. You got faith, you can call down food. Yeah, there'll be a big fake invasion. I've seen UFOs in everything I do now. They're like everywhere. You're getting sick of them. <laughs> some are real clear. Uh, Hobson sent me some pictures. I'm gonna put them up in the next video, maybe. Um, about 15 UFOs, they're big too. It's a whole team of TR TRB3s flying through the sky, real low. Yeah, you mean those body containers? <laughs> So I think Samuel Hoffman, you know, I'm asking the Lord about him for the last year. And the Lord's, you know, why wouldn't he get abducted by real angels? Like, not fallen angels, but good angels. I think a UFO just went by, guys, on the left of the pink thing. So I had to rethink that because I'm seeing Samuel Samuel Hoffman's model um, that I've showed it on a number of videos. Um, Nehru, uh, Nimaru same thing as planet x system but it's more detail on the names of the planets the colors and i've seen everything that he shows i've seen it in the sky now if that's just orbs then i'm wasting my time but no because a lot of people got saved on my channel so i'm not wasting my time so you know it's what it is people you know like this you could say this is an orb but yeah most of them don't know nothing, yeah. They hate God, I know they do. Wrath of the Lamb's coming for that. There'll be cleanup time. I'm gonna call it Blue Kachina, Red Kachina, I don't care what you call it. You call it Planet Hell like Rap the News? I like it, Planet Hell. The nemesis is Planet Hell. I don't know if the Anunnaki are coming down, but I'll tell you what's coming out of the Earth. Legions. Abaddon. And what's his name? There's two names for him, Abandon. What's his name, Doug, that comes out? Satan himself. Yeah. I've listened to Dave Dawes maybe like five times. Two of them on WSO, I think. Yeah. What do you guys think about CERN? Very real? Very demonic. Yeah. I got like three people. I'm going to stop at Red's house and I'm going to stop at Roger Paul's house and I'm going to go to the Ozarks. I'm going to go to the Ozarks when it's time. Uh, what's up there now? What's a helicopter or something there flying by? Well, you know what gave this thing away when you see all those planes go over top of that red pink thing? You know it's something real. It's not a lens flare. Well, like I say, everybody's got their opinions. Some got big ones, some got little ones. Me, I just like to say Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. I'm, I'm solid on that. And there's no other way to the Father or to God but to the Son, Jesus. He made a way. <laughs> so, I think you guys know how to provoke me to get me to preach, right? I know Sarah does. Whose followers are deceived? Satan's? Yeah, they're blinded by the enemy. Now see, I was moving here in 99 and everybody told me it was going to be a massive earthquake and the Lord said go. He says, I'm going to have a feast of my presence and revival there and I want you to be part of it. That's what he told me. So that was 99 and I've been in revival for, I don't know. I've been in revival for like 15 years now. Well, I broke my back twice. That was kind of a damper. That took me out for about... Well, I still served the Lord and preached at house church. But it took me out really from the whole ministry thing for about eight years. It's hard to do anything with chronic pain. Down your legs. I couldn't stand up for more 10 minutes without almost crying. That hurt so bad. So anyways, folks, I'm going to record this for probably another three hours, and I'm going to call it a night. Yeah, he said, I'm sending my only begotten son. Yeah. And you know, a lot of people don't even know they're turned away because they're into such legalism. It's another gospel. And Paul warned about those that come in and be with you and take you out of the faith, you know, and grace message is not the sloppy grace, but... But anyways, guys, I think I'm going to 
Call tonight. May God bless you, give you sweet sleep. May your face shine on your countenance, change you, make you shine. Heal your bodies when you sleep tonight. Fill you with the Holy Ghost. And guys, thank you for blessing my channel with any monies or any prayers. I love it. See you later, Red. I will send your stuff back soon. It's a, it's a, it's a lesson of patience with me. <laughs> Good night, guys. Bye. God bless. Thank you, Sarah, for all your lover, labor of love. I see you with that big wrench. I don't want to get hit by that thing. It better be nice. <laughs> you got that big wrench on Sarah. Anyways, guys, if uh, I'm going to record this for a little while. But I think I'm going to hang it up. Good night, Eamon. Polyon, that's it. Yeah, CERN's going to open up. Bye. Bye, I'll see. There's that weird music again. All right. Tomorrow I'm putting out two more files on those secret files of all those lens flares. <laughs> I love seeing that. We just play. We pray for Planet X channel that God just, you know, bless his socks off. Let him make all the money he wants, Lord. You know. Let him bring the truth that he brings. But anyways, and don't have mercy on him. Because you know the scriptures say, touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. So if I don't pray mercy on him, if he's talking trash, then he might die. I'm serious. As, I'm, I'm alive serious. I'm not dead serious. I'm alive serious. <laughs>